teenager at home, body image can be overwhelming, especially with social media. In this week's First with Kids, Dr. Lewis First has advice for parents looking for ways to help their kids feel comfortable in their own skin. Parents have recently been weighing in with a lot of questions about their teens' focus on body image, whether they're trying to lose weight or want to beef up their muscle mass. So this week, let me see if I can chew the fat on body image and offer some tips for parents and teens. First of all, if you want to de-emphasize the focus on body image in your teen, you can start by doing a few things yourself. Limit discussions about your own body image or the body image of other friends and family members and don't talk negatively about your own body or weight problem in front of your teenager. If you have a strong focus on personal weight loss or gain, be careful about your discussions with your child as they may begin to focus on this also. As to what should you say to your teen about their body image concerns, here are a few suggestions. Make sure your children know that weight gain during puberty and up through age 20 is normal and essential for healthy development. Bodies change a lot during puberty. Create a bond with your teenager when it comes to what they eat, not a battle. Don't be the food police. Just provide a wide variety of foods and model good eating habits yourself. Exercise is more about physical movement that makes you feel good rather than something you need to do to get the weight off. Find ways to exercise and be active together as a family rather than dropping your teen at a gym and not being there to monitor the pace or degree of exercise. Be alert to over-exercise in your child. Don't compare your teen to others or even yourself. Instead, support your teenager for who they are rather than who they might be. Finally, if your child or teen is losing or gaining weight rapidly, has had a major change in food and exercise habits, is wearing oversized clothes to mask thinness, they're talking a lot about their body size and weight, or spending a lot of time in the bathroom after eating, which can be suggestive of their getting rid of the foods that they've just eaten by vomiting or what we call purging, then speak to your teen's healthcare professional so they can be evaluated and helped before serious consequences of disordered eating occur. Hopefully, tips like these will shape up any concerns you have the next time you're worried about your teenager's body image. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital reminding you to always be first with your kids. And if you have a question for Dr. First, you can just send him an email. The address is firstwithkids at mynbc5.com.